I'm Rodney Brown. I want me TV. I want me TV. What do I see when I wake up in the morning? See my reflection in the mirror staring back at me. What do I see when I go to bed at night? I see my reflection in the mirror looking back. Me TV. Rodney Brown, we, we want me TV. Rodney Brown, we want me TV. Rodney Brown, we, we want me TV. TV. Rodney Brown, we we want me TV. TV. TV is all about you. you. I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. I want me TV. Rodney Brown, Rodney Brown, Rodney Brown. I want me TV. Hey, my man Rodney, I'm Slick Aguilar with the Jefferson Starship. I want me TV. Okay. Rodney, I'm Darby from Jefferson Starship, and I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. Hi, I'm Chutney Ross, Rodney Brown. I want me TV. Hey, my name's Andy Dick. I'm with my son Lucas Dick. And you're watching Rodney Brown. I want me TV. Rodney Brown, I'm Jessica Burks, and I want me TV. And that's the damn truth, too. Rodney Brown, we want me TV. Rodney Brown, Rodney Brown, Rodney Brown, I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. Me TV is all about you. Me TV is all about you. Hey Brown, I'm Tyler Lee. I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. Rodney Brown, I want me TV. Rodney Brown, I want me TV. Rodney Brown, I want me TV. I'm Britney, bitch. Rodney Brown, Rodney Brown, Rodney Brown. I want me TV. They made me wear the panties. I want my kids back. What are we gonna do with you? It's all about me TV. You're in the right place. I'm live. It's 835 West Hollywood. Public access cable channel 36. Yes, I am Rodney Brown. I'm your host, your producer, your director, creator of It's All About Me TV. Thank you for making me TV an award-winning show. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to bring it to you week after week. And it's even better once you voted me the local series winner. Hey, thanks a lot. And uh, I have an action-packed show, so I just have to, I'm going to be rolling right along. Um, I want you to stand by your phones because I am giving you a chance to win. And it's all about me, TV t-shirt. Just stand by your phones and you will have a chance. I will cue you as to the question to answer and you'll have a chance to win. What could be better than a MeTV t-shirt? Well, I can think of a few things, but hey, it's a good thing the MeTV t-shirt is a very great thing. I have an action-packed show, like I said. I have a wonderful, two wonderful guests, okay? MeTV is all about me, your host, producer, director, Rodney Brown. MeTV is all about you. MeTV is all about other shows that are on this station. I came up with an idea, oh boy, about a month ago, to um, to have other shows included on MeTV, other shows that are produced here at West Hollywood Cable Channel 36. And uh, I 
If you remember, I saw Betty Kirkland. Oh, boy, I remember a new movie coming out. I went out and I covered her movie, what, What's Up, Scarlet? You all love that. Well, today I have a wonderful guest, two wonderful guests, Lorraine Stewart and Charles Adekoff, and they are from the show Fabulous. Evans helping me out. I have Hugh Taylor on the camera. This is his first night with us, Hugh. Thank you so much. You're doing a great job. Excellent job. Everybody's doing a great job. The focus looks a little soft. Can you can you do something about that, Hugh? You can you don't have to zoom in, just kind of do something right there where you're at. And uh, everything will be great. Now I'm gonna stand up, so follow me as I stand up, okay? Here we go. Let's go for it. Yes, all right. This show is just moving and grooving right along. Uh, I'm going to get to my guests. First of all, I do want to fill you in. Oh, oh, but before I forget, lest I forget, Steve Earle, Grammy winner, Steve Earle, if you saw in the promo, the I Want Me TV promo, he wants his Me TV. Steve Earle, Grammy winner. His birthday was January 17th. That was about two Thursdays ago. And um, I've been meaning to wish him a happy birthday ever since. So happy belated birthday to you, Steve Earle, Grammy winner. I know the Grammys are coming up. I'm not sure if you're nominated again, but um, congratulations on that Grammy that you have already won, and I wish you would win many, many more. I love your music, and you're quite the inspiration. Now, I, I want to share an uh, email that I received. Last week, I told you about an email that I had that someone wasn't too happy with my performance, if you will. And uh, my answer to that was, hey, love me or hate me, just watch me. Okay, well, someone came to my defense. Her name is Lisa. She sent me an email, and she said, Rodney, I don't care what that guy, his name was Nick. She said, I don't care what he says about you. I love your show, and in my eyes, you are a star. And Lisa... I thank you so much for saying that. That is just so kind. And then you went on to say, Now, 
in order to truly be a star, you must have a book out, right? Every star these days has written a book or is writing one or something like that, right? So I brought my book in to show you, yes, I do have a book that I've written. It's up there, Raul, on the monitor. So I just want to show you that. Noah's Great Adventure. Oh, the rainbow. The theme, our rainbow theme. Remember that. We have themes here. BTV, I'll be discussing that. But anyway, just want to show you, share with you, yes, I do have a book that I've written, a children's book by Rodney Brown. I'm the author. And so there you go. Bonafide star. All right. Thank you, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Don't want to toot my own horn too much, but you know, if I don't, who else will? All right, time for our guests. Oh boy, I've been waiting for this. The Rain Stewart and Charles Adakoff. We're gonna get them right in. Raul's running all around. Let's help them in here, Raul. And uh, this is exciting. This is so exciting. This is an idea I came up with to promote other shows that are on this channel. So here they come. That was good, Raul. You've already put their names up. We're gonna get you both in here. MeTV is unscripted, unrehearsed, unpredictable, improvised, and we have proof of that right now. All right, fantastic. Hey, how are you two doing today? Oh, we're just fine. Just eating. How are you? Are you staying warm? Nice. Yeah, all right, good. Nice and warm <laughs> in the studio. Kind of chilly out there. Hey, shot looks great. Loving everything you guys. Thank you so much. Now, fabulous past 16. We got it. We are right. I'm glad I have it. We have about 17 minutes, okay? So let's just take our time. I was rushing through everything, and now I can take a breather. Okay. I'll step off for a second and take a little more of a breather. Uh -huh. But talk to me, the two of you. Let's talk. Well, like we're here pushing our fabulous people past 60, and uh, he's our youngest one here. Oh, boy, um, and he looks fabulous. Yes, Charles, what do you do? Uh, well, as long as you're asking me, I'll tell you. What do you do to stay so fabulous looking? <laughs> well, first let me say this. I notice you paid a belated person for someone who was born just a little while ago. Is that right? Right. Well, I'm supposed to give you a chance to wish me a happy birthday, which is on February 22nd. Nice. Yes. February 22nd, yes, double yes. digit. Ooh. And I'm over 60. I I'm can't also, believe that. I'm I won't believe it for a over second. Over I'm not going to believe I'm that. I'm also over 80. No. I'm also over 90. Is that no. 90? Oh my goodness. I will be 93 in February. Let's hear it, everybody. Hey. Come on. We got to hear it for Charles. Hey. 93? Wow. wow. You look so yeah. awesome. Yeah. You look so young. And I'm getting chills right now because I'm just saying, please, Spirit, God, let me live to look like this man here. Shall I tell you how to do it? How do I do it? Okay, first Tell me you, a secret. You yeah. are what you eat. Oh, okay. I've heard that one before. Eat, okay? Okay. Listen now, everybody. Secondly, I said this before, fast horses and slow women. Ooh, hey, we like that. Or the other way around. Oh, Rodney, I would have been dead 50 years ago. <laughs> I heard that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm 44, and I'm starting to learn that I need to slow down when it comes to uh, certain things. Right, and it's just starting to hit me that that will help me. Absolutely. That will help with longevity. Absolutely. If I can just right now slow it down. This is like a crucial time. I just heard some studies that are saying that this is like a, people in my age group are the uh, least happy, and this is like a lull. Of course, I don't believe a word what I hear these days on the media, you know, but they're saying this about people in their mid-40s, mid-life, and all that. Well, part of it is ringing true that I have to slow it down. That's that's too young. Uh, in a way, excuse me, I believe that in a way I don't. I right. think it's just each person's different, and some are a little bit more energetic than others. Now, this man doesn't slow. He works every day. I mean, he goes all the time. Well, I meant slowing down in certain things, but right, okay, well, but not I in. Slow down in he anything. doesn't. Okay. Except no. for the women. Except the women, I don't take it easy. <laughs> 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 but he's faster with other things. Yeah, right, right, right. So cool. Yeah. So what do, you, what do you mean you work every day? Oh, I'm in my office every day. I have a private screening room in Beverly Hills. I'm on Bear Drive. Oh, wow. And I show films all day long for the studios, the movie stars, the producers, directors, everybody. Nice. And they all come in and they 
just sit down in their jeans and all these actors and actresses. Sure. Nobody but them to autograph. Beautiful. And, and they love coming in. That's cool. I'm inviting you over to my room anytime you want to come. I'm there every day. I'm getting chills. I will be there. Oh, I will be there. You'll love it. Beautiful. Oh, so sweet. Oh, this is so cool. I just I read a lot of different philosophies about the laws of attraction and such. And this is like the laws of attraction, having these beautiful, fabulous people on my show. And um, I just, I'm so thankful that you're here tonight. We're thankful too, everyone. Oh, we appreciate it. Oh, great, great. We have a clip that we can show, that we're going to show, of your show. Okay. So why don't we get to that? Uh, Raul will let us know when they have that all queued up. Um, in the meantime, um, tell us a little bit about the show. Give us like a okay. lead in. Uh, in the beginning, when we first had our show here at Channel 36, we were all excited about it. It's like, you know, honestly, how are we going to do this? How are we going to get this out to the public? How will they feel about it? Mm -hmm. How actually do they feel about people past 60? Great. That's Meaning true. the way I feel of what I've heard, a little bit too judgmental. And this is another reason why I think that we have to voice because I think we're just out of this world. Right. Uh, we've had all the experience. Uh, we know how co to convey things. We know how we feel. And But it's the voicing. When people reach, say, 60 or over, sometimes 55 or over, uh, they become like a little introverted. They're afraid to say things. Uh, and I don't think it's the number. I was speaking to a friend of mine tonight. We were discussing this. And I think it's really more a state of mind. Mm. Because in your mind, you know, you're getting, oh, I'm reaching 60. I'm reaching 65. I'm getting old. Oh, I think the mind works in the body. So I don't think it's so much physical. I think it's more of a mental thing. Mm. And she went on saying, well, I get comfortable, and if you don't date for a while, if you're not married, you become independent. And everybody gets in that realm of that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Even myself sometimes, I feel, oh, I'm kind of comfy here. I don't want to go out. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And most people, when they hear that, they think, oh, she or he's old. They don't do anything. But that's wrong. Mm. It's like I feel it's a state of mind. Oh. But... We're important, and during my first show, we were talking about thrills, the thrill of life. Mm -hmm. I feel like all of us need that spark to go on, that little bit of excitement, mm -hmm. that titillation oh, that it, makes it, you know, it, it energizes us. Well, listen to this. I mean, I could have brought some 20-somethings in here tonight, 30-somethings, and I would not have even a minute closeness to the spark that you two are bringing in. I mean, you talk about energy sparks. You both have it. Well, it's like phenomenal. I said, it's inside the way you feel. And I like to get innate of a person's inner feelings of people. Right. Because everything today we do is surface mm -hmm. with beauty, with glamour, plastic surgery, whatever. But yeah. it's good to get inside a person. Let's pull everything out inside that person. Right. How do you feel? What do you think about this? These ladies that they're talking about, were they young women you were thinking of bringing in? Well, oh, no, I'm just thinking of, I'm just thinking of people in general, you know? I mean, I even think, even think of, like, my nephew, for instance. I mean, no offense, Michael David. Or, you know, I'm just thinking of people that are in their, like, 20s or 30s that, that I'm around. Right. That I don't feel the same spark. I mean, I feel more of a spark with the two of you than I feel with young people today. Young people are just, they're all um, tight, they're all like their faces are all in their computers, you know, and I just don't have the spark. You don't get that one-to-one, -one. you don't have that magnetism, right? that chemistry, and it's all, hey, I love progress. No one likes progress more than I, but it's right. missing that one-to-one, one-on-one. Oh, uh, can you, sh do we have that uh, clip? I'm hoping we have the clip. Um, oh, in the meantime, if you want to win the t-shirt, um, you can tell me, if you can tell me where I shot this video. I'm the producer and director host, and I, sh uh, I like shoot all the video. You like the t-shirt? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm going to get you one. I'm going to get you one. I know you shot it right here. <laughs> I think I get a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't right here. If you can call in, um, Raul left. Oh, why don't you go ahead 
I want the two of you to ad lib a little bit. I'm gonna go put up the phone number just in case someone wants to call in. If they know where I shot this video at, they will win a t-shirt. But um, I have to get some more t-shirts made, but I promise you all. You're gonna yeah. get Yeah, okay, cool. Very good. A medium will be fine. Oh, great, 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 great. I like it nice and tight. Great, I'm gonna have to um, go ahead and do that. So go ahead, uh, ad lib. Welcome to our show, to all the young, fabulous, sensual people at 60. We still want that for you. Whatever it is, don't let it go. You've got to hold on to that excitement, whether it's a kiss, a hug, cuddling, dinner by candlelight, creativity, or just laying close to someone where you feel so comfortable. That's a special thrill, and it only belongs to you. People past 60, we have to be heard. Uh, it's like there's a stigma. Who are they? Well, it, it's really a stigma, I should say, regarding age. And who are they to judge us? That's why I have on my left Charles Adacock this evening. On my right is Jill Jones. We're going to cover all of these things, so I want you to sit back and enjoy our show. And thank you for tuning in. Now, on my left, this young, handsome, awesome young man, he's only 92. And how are you tonight, Charles? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm always fine. <laughs> Welcome, and thank you for joining us tonight. It was a pleasure. Can we still get that thrill? Ah, I'm glad you mentioned thrill. Do you know what thrill is actually? You know, I looked it up, and thrill is an exciting, exciting emotion that is manifested by all of the things you just said before, by the kiss laying together. That's a thrill, and I still get it. And if my wife is listening, I'm sure she'll say, absolutely, I hope. <laughs> 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 I agree. I totally agree. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm bringing all of these things up because there's so much talk about past 60 people. We have to voice. We have to be heard. Uh, okay. okay, that'll be great. You can even make Blu-rays. We have everything by place. You okay. gotta come down. Oh, I'm going to go. We're back. We're back. All right, okay. great. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, once again, you can call in. Um, Raul, no, we don't have a headset, so you don't know if anybody's calling, huh? No. Uh, well, anyway, let's go ahead and add. This is VTV's unscripted, unrehearsed, and this is the way it goes sometimes, right? I but that's uh, the best we're gonna hear. We're going to get you a t shirt. I can hear him, but he can't hear me. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so go ahead. Let's go ahead and um, discuss okay. the things. We have about five minutes. Okay, and um, like we're going to cover on our show everything about uh, past 60. Uh, dating, courting, how people feel, uh, would age make a difference if you were dating someone? Do you look at age or do you take that person for, for what that person is? Right, yes. Oh, that's so great. I love that. I love this it. This is important. And we want to get Very important. feedback from people. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rodney, um, let me ask you. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, on the spot. It's Just what I like. On the spot. <laughs> Just what, that's what BTVs are all about. <laughs> oh. Interview me. <laughs> right. As long as you're here now. What, yes. how, how do you feel about dating someone that's older than you? Well, Say like 15, 17 years older? Actually. Would you, would the number make a difference or do you look at the person? Now your true feelings about this. I, it's funny that you should ask that. I swear. I am actually attracted to older. I, I uh, Why? see wisdom. Okay. I see experience. I feel the maturity level that I possess is beyond my years. I feel that, and I feel that I get that. I actually kind of feel that I take after my mother that way. Don't get mad at me, Bob. She doesn't <laughs> like you to talk about there is an uh, age difference between my mother and my father. My father, he's passed away. Uh, but Was it a large gap? Yes, 
quite a quite a quite a few years okay. actually okay. over 20 years oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> and so oh this, you're this gonna is get good. Mad. yeah and i think i picked i think oh, i got that that's great and what they put me on the spot <laughs> all the older women right what do i do where am i going to get all the women over 93. <laughs> i love it i love where it, I it? <laughs> where do i get it yeah i don't I, he has a problem he does <laughs> I mean, right. a problem. you need right. a younger one yeah. uh, right and in fact uh, i must say this I don't have any more enemies. They're all dead. Wow! That <laughs> hey, you, you outlived them. Yeah, yeah. You must have. You must have killed them with kindness. <laughs> I bet. I bet you killed them with kindness. And that's what we learned that at MeTV. We have to do that. I even mentioned that a few shows shows ago, Charles, about killing people with kindness. Yeah. And I think that is a great way to live. And that shows you outlive them. The karma, you know, I believe in karma and all that. So do I. Yes, and and the karma, you, your soul, your heart. I can feel it. So I can feel everything. it. But you I know? do love going out with younger women. Don't love yeah, that. Yeah, oh, right. Yes. Oh, Absolutely. yes. And I bet you they love you, Charles. I think they do. I know they, they do. They all love them. I know they do. We all love them. We all love them. I love them. Everybody loves them, don't we? Right. You guys I'm love me you. too? Oh, I absolutely, know. yes. I don't like the guys one. Yeah, all right. Hey, you know, to each his own. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no judgment here, yeah, right? Totally but not. I love what you said. Oh. All those, everything you said about, uh, you know, wisdom and all of that, and you mentioned your mother and everything. Yes. Um, someone told me that before, too. And that's the way I feel. I go by the person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, but... Don't you feel that generalizing mm -hmm. the average public today doesn't feel that way? How, oh, how oh, do you, you feel about oh, that? Oh gosh, it's like youth, all yeah. this youth. People are so afraid to like show their age. You know, like you're talking about plastic fear surgery. Fear of showing fear, age. Right, exactly. Okay, excuse me. Do yes, you think it's that. all only because we're in LA? I think or LA has think a lot to do with it. I think LA has a lot to do with it. Movie colony. Yes, I started like this that. show in San Francisco, and when I go back there and visit occasionally, and I see people aren't as afraid to show their age down. And you see gentlemen uh, walking around the Castro, gay men right. that are they are okay with their age, uh -huh. and and then you and I'm interested. These men to me seem interesting because they uh, they've lived, they've and, lived. right they've experienced. And here in Los Angeles. You take a, a gentleman like that, and they're dyeing their hair and they're dressing like boys. You know, well, why do you think, honestly, why do you think they're doing that? Um, it's the fear. environment and oh, the fear that's making them. Act like that, right? Right. Or um, react. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Unfortunately, we're almost out of time. This oh, show goes well, so quick. We have a minute. Oh yes. Yeah. I mean, we're having so much. Oh, can I mention we're doing our show next week? Oh yes, do hey, that. Mention that. Okay, our show. Excuse me. In sure. Channel Thirty-six. Fabulous past sixty. Please join us, Charles and myself, at five thirty next Wednesday evening. February the 6th, we're going to have lots of fun. And so Hayden, please join us. Us. Oh, uh, And excellent. we want you to come on again. Too, oh, oh okay? yes, yes. I'm going to have you two on. I'm going to have you two back on, okay? okay so because there's so much to say. To be continued. Time yes, short. absolutely. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, go ahead, Raul. Get it. Don't. Yeah, let's, um, that's my address. I accept people sending takes, but we're going to get past that because that's over our face. <laughs> there you go. All righty. And then those, um, I'll mention that next week. And those tapes are starting to trickle in. Oh, we still have a little? Okay, great. Thank you so much. We can sit here now. Um, I had my credit set up where we had my the address that they can send tapes to, and he put that up. But now it's great. We can sit right here while the credits play. And Rodney, it's been a pleasure. Oh, this is charming. Oh, oh, the pleasure is mine. I cannot wait to see you again. You must come down to my room. Oh, I will be come there. tomorrow. I will, I will Raul. be there tomorrow. Raul. 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 So, Anytime excellent. after ten thirty, I'm there all day. Oh, Excellent. Please come. I want to see what I built in this house. Oh, bye bye. Come back next week. It was so so quick, too short. We didn't get any calls. We couldn't, but that's okay. Next time. Oh, oh really? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, um, we're still on. So, but thank you so much. Thank you. And um, I really cannot wait to.